Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. We're looking at the latest Luminar Neo update, which is 1.05. What's this update gonna do for you guys as a Luminar Neo users? I'm gonna share with you the benefits that you will get from this actually very good update. First off, I need to apologize. As you can hear, my voice is absolutely shot, and that's because I've got a really bad throat. So I I'm sorry if I sound like Barry White today, guys, but you just have to put up with me sounding like this just for this one video. Okay, so what does this Luminar Neo update mean for you as a Luminar Neo user? And if you're not a user currently, you can check out the discount link in this video, which will give you up to 40% off the software. Definitely worth checking out if you're in the market for Luminar Neo. So we're gonna grab this image here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the presets tab. That's right, presets. In this latest update, Luminar Neo has unlocked the presets section. What does this mean? Well, it now means that you can transform the look of your photos by applying presets to them really quickly. On the right hand side here, you will see all of these lists of presets, which you can now use for any of your images in Luminar Neo. So at the top, you've got for this photo, this is where the AI software chooses the best presets for the photo that you're using. So you can choose to use these or you can have complete control and you can choose to actually go for one of the presets down here. There is lots to choose from. This is so good because it means that you can now get really quick looks for your photos and you can save them as well. So let's have a look at how this works. If we just go ahead and choose the for this photo option, which Luminar Neo has chosen for us, we'll click into this and we can see that there is a list of presets inside Easy Landscapes collection. Let's just grab one. Uh, let's go for clean light and apply this to the photo. Now this preset is actually nice and subtle. It's just added some more exposure, some contrast and vibrance into the image, and it's just give it a bit more punch. This is the before, and then this is the after. Now when you've applied a preset, you can actually favorite this preset and then use it at any time. So if I click on this, it will be added to my favorites, and then I can apply this to any photo nice and quick. You can also get rid of the preset by doing this undo here, and then it will just revert to the same image. Otherwise, you can go into the actions and you can go ahead and revert to original there. Now, one of these really cool features that you can now apply using the presets is you can actually go into the edit tab, click onto edits next to tools, and then you can see all of the parts which make up the preset. So each one of these settings or options has been used to get the preset looking the way it is. But you don't just see these, you can edit these. So if I want to, I can go into the vignette option here and add more of a vignette in. Let's bring that down. Or I can go into toning and I can change the toning of the image, making it different to what it is now. You can do any of these options or change any of them and you have complete control over your preset. This is brilliant because it gives you a lot more to work with inside the software. Now this is great news, but there is some even better news in my opinion. If you're someone that likes to create your own presets and create your own look, you can do that too. So if I go out of the edits here and I just click back into the preset section, I'm gonna to go to actions, I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go revert to original. This is gonna bring me back to the original photo without the preset applied. Then I'm gonna go out of here, back into the preset section and then click on edit. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start making some changes to the photo myself. So let's say I want to enhance the photo. I'm gonna bring this up here and enhance the look of it. Then I'm gonna push up the sky to enhance the sky, so bring some of the details back. I'm gonna click this off. Then let's say I wanna change the color of this grass here, and I wanna make it a little bit more yellow. So I'm gonna bring the U green level down to make it more yellow looking. So 
Let's say this is the desired effect that I want for my photo. What I can do now is I can click off the colour, I can come down to Actions, and look, I can press Save as Preset. This means you can create your own presets. So if I save that as a preset, so what I can do now is I can add this to Favourites. My preset is now in the Favourites, and then I can choose this to add and apply this to any of my photos right at the start. Also, this gives you the potential to create your own presets going forward and potentially sell them to people looking to buy them. So this opens up more opportunities for you as a Luminar Neo user. Guys, I'm really excited about this update. I'm looking forward to all of the updates that Luminar Neo are going to provide us with in future. I think this has been a great update from Skylum, especially what they're going through currently in the Ukraine as a Ukraine-based company. We all know the atrocities that are going on in that country and my heart and thoughts go out to them and their families. A big thank you to Luminar for actually producing these updates for us and they've said they will be able to continue doing this and I think it's because they're moving their operations elsewhere. So guys, I hope you enjoy this update. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a like and hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these kind of videos. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.